Now that you've learned the relevant auricular anatomy and the locations of the points and zones in the auricular trauma protocol, it's time to learn how to needle. This is a 15 millimeter ear needle and its guide tube. I'm going to use a point on the fake skin next to the fake ear to demonstrate the technique. We place the guide tube and the needle resting gently over the point. We secure it with the thumb and forefinger of our non-dominant hand and simply tap, pull up, and the point is inserted. Now we're going to begin finding the points in the auricular trauma protocol in their preferred sequence. We begin by distracting the skin of the lobe posteriorly to expose the interior wall of the antitragus and the floor of the inferior concha. Where these two structures meet, where the wall meets the floor, is the zone of the hypothalamus. And so we explore this zone with our probe looking for the tenderest point. Finding it, we place the guide tube on the point, secure it, tap, and the point is needled, hypothalamus. Next, let's turn our attention to the area immediately inferior to the cartilage of the antitragus. This is the hippocampal zone, the largest zone of the auricular trauma protocol. And so we're going to explore this with our probe. If we find a tender point, we may also observe an edematous crater, sometimes with a red base. But we're always going to be in the skin of the lobe, not in the cartilage. Tap and release. The next point in the series is found in a small zone on the posterior aspect of the antitragus, I'm sorry, of the intratragic notch, and that is the amygdala point. And as I say, it's really a small zone. We find the tender point, understanding that it is again in the skin of the lobe, not in the cartilage. And so we're going to need to carefully and precisely walk the needle up to that junction tap and release. All right, moving on to the zone for master cerebral, also known as prefrontal cortex. And you'll recall that that is along the groove at the junction of the skin of the face and the anterior aspect of the lobe. And so again, we look for the tender point and finding it, tap and release. We're up to the fifth point in the sequence, point zero, which as you now know, is at the junction of the helix and the interconchial ridge in a small notch. We place the Guide to precisely over this point, tap and release, point zero. The last point in the sequence, Shen Men, or spirit gate in the triangular fossa. This point is found by bisecting the fossa and moving superior to the bisection, but staying in the floor of the fossa, not on its rim and very close to the apex. Tap and release. Shen Min. There you have it. The auricular trauma protocol, hypothalamus, hippocampus, amygdala, master cerebral, point zero, and Shen Men. A couple of caveats. Don't allow your patients to walk around with needles in their ear. They tend to fall out. Don't take them home. 
and put them in the sharps container as you would any other medical sharp. Next, we're going to do a live demonstration on an actual person. See you there. Now we're ready to learn how to needle on a live model. We begin with the first point in our sequence, which is found in the hypothalamus zone at the base of the antitragal wall where it meets the floor of the inferior concha, moving back from the intertragic notch along the line. Oh. And you can see that there's a little point in there. And so we place the needle and guide tube carefully over the point. Tap. And release hypothalamus. Now my colleagues have informed me that the preferred preferred location and sequence is that the second point taken is the amygdala point mm. in a small zone on the posterior aspect of the intertragic notch and just under the cartilage. So I'm going to walk up to this point with my needle and guide tube, amygdala. The third in our sequence is in the large hippocampal zone, immediately inferior to the antitragus. Mm. So getting a response in the hippocampal zone, I place the needle, tap, <laughs> And release. The fourth area in our series is that of the prefrontal cortex or master cerebral lying at the junction of the anterior lobe and the skin of the face along a slight crease. Mm. All of these points have a little activity but we'll take the one that got the biggest reaction. Mm. Master Cerebral. The fifth in the sequence is point zero, a more precise point in the little notch at the junction of the helix and interconchial ridge that you can see clearly here. We place the needle and guide to precisely tap release. And finally, Shen Men, Spirit Gate in the triangular fossa, find the point, Ooh. there we go. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the auricular trauma protocol. Hypothalamus, amygdala, hippocampus, master cerebral, point zero, and shen men. In practice, you'll leave this treatment in 20 to 30 minutes, and when you remove it, have a cotton ball at the ready in case there's any bleeding.